first thing we need to do is get hold of the game files. Now, the easiest way to do that would be through GOG.com or Good Old Games. Um, here you can usually pick up Dungeon Keeper Gold and the Dungeon Keeper 2 together as a bundle. It's usually pretty cheap, so just go to the website depending on uh, what country you are, the prices may vary. So I'm not going to give off what it costs these days. Um, but this is probably the easiest and best way to do it because all the games that you get out of uh, GOG.com are DRM free, which is just freaking awesome. So you'll always have files forever. Um, after that, best thing to do is head over to uh, the team who've developed the HD content. Head over to your browser and we're going to look up the developers, which is Keeper FX. Um, and go to the top link or otherwise you can have a look at keeper.ubiki.pl I'll obviously put it in the description below so you guys have a quick link to it and it's going to bring us to the Dungeon Keeper fan expansion pack um, it's Keeper FX for Dungeon Keeper it's a modification so that you can run the game easily on your hardware with upscaling and a couple other options and that sort of thing instead of faffing with the hard parchment sort of stuff in order to getting the game looking great and running great um, it is developed by a chap named Thomas uh, Liz, uh, also known as Mephistopheles, and I'd like to thank you, Brew, for creating this super awesome program, and um, I think you guys can just um, really appreciate what he's done for us in order to get this going. So, next thing we need to do is um, just jump over to the Keeper Fix tab here. There are some other cool options here. I'm not going to really go through all of these, but if you want to, check out the rest of the site. It's fantastic. There's uh, original patches for Dungeon Keeper, original maps and that sort of thing you can download. Also some cool tools for Dungeon Keeper as well as Dungeon Keeper 2. Uh, a lot of the other stuff that you usually would maybe want to get or you couldn't get hold of anymore would be readmes and um, and all the original content that would come with a Dungeon Keeper original disc. So that's also available here um, as it's not copyrighted. Um, so you can just head over to the download tab under the Keeper effects. The latest version is 046. Um, he hasn't really developed anything after this. Um, I haven't seen it um, move any further than that, and it's, it's not too recent, but it's, it does the job, and it's pretty much all that we really need in order to get this going. Uh, you can then just click on the download the complete version. If anyone's interested, you can also get the source or use some of the alternative downloads of here, um, and then we're going to save the file, but I'm not going to do that right now because I've already done it. Uh, next thing you want to do is you open... Um, wherever you've downloaded the file to and it'll give you a keeper fix um, 7 zip file which you can then extract and inside there will be all of the files and to run the game in HD with all the other cool um, launching capabilities so what we want to do in order to run the game is just run the launcher for anyone having problems running the launcher you can run it as administrator but I haven't seen to run into any problems at the moment so I'm just going to double click that and it's going to open the launcher for us Okay, so first thing we need to do is point the, uh, the key, Keeper FX launcher to your original installation where you um, installed your Keeper Dungeon Keeper file. So, as you can see, it already tells you how the game files had to be copied over from the original Dungeon Keeper, but they are not present. So, you're just going to go to the installation. Mine is going to be under my games, my GOG games, and my Dungeon Keeper Gold. I'm going to select the folder. It's going to say blah, blah, blah. I don't want to copy them over. I'm going to say yes. Ta da! It's going to tell me installation complete. And that we're ready to then start the game so a quick thing there's a quick link to the readme a log file in case you're running into any issues if you are like i said please run it in administrator mode if you are having any problems sometimes um, you might get an issue here where it actually won't even open the installation directory and it does help by running it in administrator mode uh, run options um, there's a couple cool things here if you want to you can skip the intro animation if it irritates you you don't have to watch it all the time but you can actually click through the whole thing so but if you want to go straight to game you can select that um, you can use music files instead of a CD if you want so if you've got your own tunes you want to jam that's pretty cool and you can smoothen the video I've tried this on and off it doesn't really seem to do a single thing I don't I don't really notice anything so I just leave it off um, and this is apparently awesome as well for the Easter eggs if you want to enable cheats and that sort of thing just for uh, stuffing around within the game. Um, here you can also set your IP for playing LANs or you know running Tango or something if you want to run the game with your mates online still uh, that have original copies. Uh, we'll just cancel that. Uh, settings, this is what we all wanting is that here we can change the resolution. You can even put custom resolutions up to 4K if you really want. 
Um, so you can give that a try. I don't see it getting any better after like Full HD. The game is rather dated. So um, yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, the menu resolution it tells you if you hover over these uh, drop down tabs it'll tell you what the original resolutions are um, I just leave those as 6480 um, just because the you know if as soon as you start making the things a lot more high resolution everything starts getting a lot smaller and um, it gets really, really difficult to actually see what's going on so I leave those at original the movie's resolution is 320 by 200 I do put it up to the 6480 by 480 um, 640 by 480 sorry excuse me and it does make the window a little smaller but it makes it a little bit more enjoyable to watch so um, and just looks a little cleaner than the original pixelated one which doesn't quite fill your whole screen anyway censorship if you want to just take out the blood and flesh um, sensitivity quite straightforward you can save your changes and pretty much all you need to do is just press start game and get into it they do have their own little splash screen that they've created. And we've got good old Bullfrog. Dungeon Keeper. Okay, so um, the original game menu is exactly the same as it always has been. Um, for those new to the game and never seen it, well, there it is. Um, as I've mentioned, um, pretty much what this really does is just allow us to play the game on on new hardware, as well as then just up the resolution scale a bit for us, so that the game looks. A bit more pretty and a bit easier on the eyes and that sort of thing. So, um, just to so you guys can see the differences, I'm going to just quickly do uh, start a new game. Um, oh, I forgot to mention um, there is a lot of community uh, packs that are also built into this, which is freaking awesome. That just means there's tons of content for um, the old guys to go back into and try something different uh, once they've finished the, both the original campaigns, if they're going to play it again. And for all the new guys, if you really do enjoy it, um, there's tons of uh, extra levels and that sort of thing developed by the community. So for whoever you are out there who made these, uh, thanks very much. They're pretty freaking cool. Um, so we're just going to do the original campaign. Have for those who have played this before, you'll know this window very well. Uh, this is pretty much like our, uh, our quest map sort of thing. And we can go from mission to mission to mission. But um, if you guys want to get into the game, you can do that yourself. I'm just going to get in so I can show you the differences. Yeah. Alrighty, so for those that are familiar with the game, I'm sure you'll be able to pick up that things are looking a little bit more crispy. Some crispy lines happening over here, some crispy walls and um, a crispy looking dungeon. 
as opposed to the original. Um, I will switch back and forth so you guys do know. I also do have a comparison as to what it will look like. Um, very, very importantly, don't expect this isn't a rebuild of the game and they have not um, uh, put uh, different models in and that sort of thing. So the game does have sprites in it. So as you can see, the dungeon heart of here kind of follows you everywhere you go so it's not going to be um, HD sprites or any kind of new content that these guys have actually implemented it is just high resolution scaling um, so to make the game look even prettier I recommend playing the game as far out as possible as you can see it looks nice and crispy and um, ooh, they should call this bitch slap simulator anyway back to the, the the topic at hand, um, yes, let's quickly switch back. Uh, for those of you who do start it for the first time, it might not automatically pick up your resolution. Don't fret and think it's not working. What you need to do is just press Alt and R, Alt key and R, um, and it will put it either to the high resolution or back to its original. As you can see, guys, it's very dated, very pixelated, um, not looking so great. Um, if you had to put it back down to its original um, resolution, this is horrible. Um, I would not feel comfortable playing the whole game like this. So I'm really, really happy these developers put this developers put this together for us, so we can actually get back into this game and really enjoy it um, for what it is. Uh, revive it a bit, and I know we all got our fingers crossed for a new one. As uh, Dungeons wasn't too bad, I did enjoy it, but it's definitely not a Dungeon Keeper, and we would all like Dungeon Keeper to kind of uh, make a comeback, I think, and. Uh, uh, really take it by storm. So I'm going to flip back again. I'm going to press Alt and R and it'll bring me back to, as you can see, nice and crispy dungeon that's happening over here. Um, pretty much there's nothing else to it guys. That's about it. The gameplay is all exactly the same. All the content's the same. So I uh, really hope this helps you uh, bring um, the game back to your new hardware. Don't think, oh, you cannot play it anymore. You have to use GOG or this oh, it still looks like crap. You can use this modification. Please do share it with your friends. Get the community back in um, and really try this game. This game is fantastic and I think we should uh, not let this fade into um, oblivion. Uh, so guys, if you really enjoyed the content, please you know, as usual, give me a, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you want some more, and don't forget to let me know if you enjoyed this content and if it helped you. If it helped you, it helped your mates, or helped any of your friends and that sort of thing. Just let me know, so at least I know that um, uh, the content of this video and where I'm going with this um, content is beneficial to everyone out there. So, guys, thanks for watching um, and the support and support SA Gaming. I'll catch you all in the next one. No! Come here, you little shit.